it up, I think there's three tickers that need to be in everyone's radar, right? F, X, E, G, L, D, and S, L, V. It just seems like we all have to watch the euro because everything seems to be dictated by that. Yes, we saw that outside day in the euro, which made the strength come to the dollar. That's a day to take notice. Since then, the dollar has been stronger, the euro has been weaker. Today, I think it's very interesting for the metals. Mm -hmm. I went out a little bit long GLD. If you take a quick look at the... You mean you know, long Friday? Yeah, Friday. Okay. I went out long a little bit as we talked about this really tight range, right? Started to resolve to the upside. The question is, with the dollar stronger, can gold rally? Is the fear of defaults in Europe and maybe with Zimbabwe going to the gold you know, currency, can gold go higher? So with the GLDs down a little bit, if it takes it through Friday's high, I think it's a buy. I'm also seeing a little tight pattern in silver. Mm -hmm. and I know silver has been holding lower. It's been kind of out of play. But both of them have been just looking for direction aside from Friday's rally. Wait, Zimbabwe's going on the gold standard? I saw some kind of note on Friday. And that's right, what that's what, no, that. see, that's what people told me. That, that's why we rallied on Friday. So with silver, I just got to show you the chart real quick. Look at this level here. You know, I'm not long any silver, but if silver starts to get or SLVs start to get above this 34 and a half, 35, I think you get a bounce. And for the caffeinated trader, the AGQs, look at this level here. If it gets above this area of like 175 and gold gets going and they want to go after metals because they're scared of currencies, this can get back to 200 in a heartbeat. And long-term investor, just you got to be aware of that dollar and apparently Zimbabwe gold standard, which I'll be looking at at the street. I might be wrong. You know, <laughs> someone someone told me that's why I went. Um, right? Okay, good. All thanks, right. thanks, Mickey. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Scott. I appreciate it. Happy trading this Monday, everybody. I'm Alex Steele from the street. And I'm Scott Redler. And at this point, you have to follow us on the virtual trade floor and the chat room because today is going to be one of those days where there's going to be a lot to look at. It's one of those fearful days. You're walking, S&P's down 12 handles. But on these type of days, there's a lot of opportunity. Embrace it. Don't be scared of it. I'll see you at the recap.